particular had a distaste for the union of species. He really likes his turtles. Hi, it's me, Tree. Uh, it's been a while since I talked to you all. Sorry about that. And I'm kind of... My, 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 my desk is kind of weird at the moment. I, I'm, I'm gonna start attempting to do some oil painting. So, and I'm still... My studio still... My actual studio studio is still an epic wreck because of reasons. So this is my my makeshift thing that's here in my my office living room studio arts. I don't know what you want to call it. It it, it it it's it's a thing. So. Before we go any further, may I please point out the wondrousness that is my t-shirt. It is Molly Mock Tea Leaf. Bleh, can't talk clearly. It's Molly Mock Tea Leaf from Critical Role. The artist, uh, their handle, there, she, mm, pronouns, pronouns are important, don't misgender people, she. The artist is K uh, Kamiel on Twitter, and they have a Tumblr and a Redbubble, and I'll put it in the description, drop, drop box drawer thingy that lives underneath the video because their art is her art is amazing. I love her work a lot. Uh, this is a special shirt that she designed for Critical Role, which you can get on the Critical Role store which I will also put a link to because Critical Role is amazing. And this shirt is super soft and it, I don't know if you can tell, but it glitters. It's sparkly. And I, I guess obligatory, this isn't sponsored. I bought this with my own money because I love the art and I love Critical Role and I love Cameo. So this is it. Do with that as you see fit. Um, since I have spoken with you all, last. I have been formally graduated. It's not graduation. I've been thro formally thrown out of the nest of physical therapy. So I'm doing that all on, all on my own and getting around all by myself. And it's still, it's still an endeavor. But you know, soft key is nice. Soft key makes things better. Yes, soft key is in fact wearing a hat and a scarf because I'm weird. He, he's also heavy enough that I could, you know, beat somebody to death with it if I really, really needed to. Not that I ever see that happening. But it's good to know. It's one of those, you know, queer aesthetic, queer aesthetic things. Can I kill a person with this thing if it comes to it? And the answer is yes. Um, also, I'm having the Steve Harrington grow out right now, so ugh, it looks a little bit ridiculous. And my hair is more or less is my hair is mostly freshly laundered, so it's really feeling sentient today. Stephen Pope, hi. Incorrect. No, no, I'm an angry. You ready? Oh, Stephen. Well, allegedly, my name is Mark Morrison. I. What are you doing? It's really good. Okay, never mind.
I don't know. I don't know that there's really much to talk about. Gnome is at a conference this week. They'll be back tomorrow night. Um, which means I've been doing all the stuff by myself, and it's been a difficult an endeavor. Um, when I was taking a shower yesterday, the hose uh, the, attached to the shower head decided to, um, I guess give is the best word. It, it's like, it's like it wore thin somehow and kind of exploded, but not completely. So, and that was in the middle of washing my hair, so that was real good. Clearly, I, I, I sorted myself out, but it was, it was... It was a consternation. And I, I started catching up on Callisto 6 this week. Um, Callisto 6 was in season 1 to season 2 hiatus when I got really sick, like, to the point where I had only watched, like, half of the season 1 finale, and I hadn't realized that. So, I am, like, a full season and a half behind, but I'm catching up. I, I'm, like, third or fourth episode in of season two, and they have made... Sam and Eric have made me ball at least twice already, so we're doing good. We're right on schedule. Um, if you haven't watched Callista 6, it, uh, I will put a link in the, 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 the drawer. It's a Geek and Sundry uh, RPG live play, uh, it's in the cypher system, it's super punk, it's really, really, really very good, some of my favorite people are on it, including Sam DeLev and Eric Campbell, Eric Campbell is DMing, uh, GMing for it, we've started playing D&D again, which has been nice, I can't do that, we, we've all started, uh, Gnome and me, Gnome and I, hmm, English, grammar, uh, Gnome and I and our friends have started playing Dungeons and Dragons again. It's, everybody was just waiting for me to feel well enough and like I could handle people long enough to, to do the thing. And I, I, I have, and we played a couple couple games again. And it just becomes more and more of a pure little soul the more I play them, which is really weird because their kindness incarnate. And I have to remind myself to be kind because I'm kind of a jerk. So it's really nice to play somebody who, who who's who's so sweet. It, and they're not innocent or naive. They're very much not any either of those. They just have a different perspective on the world than I do. And they're from a much harsher place. They, they're from the Underdark and the Glooming Expanse. So, you know, that their entire life has been contended with, you know, Avaliths and Mind Flayers and Beholders and Durgard and all the other crankinesses that live in the Underdark and yet, and is still a public universal friend and feels really bad when they can't friend somebody out of a situation or have to kill monsters. Like, we, we encountered two um, gelatinous cubes in our last session, and there was no way to get around them or to not kill them because they were going to eat us and their oozes, and they don't really don't really do the thinky thing very well. So it was either kill the gelatinous cubes or have their friends be eaten, and they took the lesser evil. It's weighing on their little mushroom soul right now. And it's very upsetting. They're they're very upset about it. And and then we're gonna roll one. Oh, and re-roll the two. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I will straight up to the kidneys. <laughs> kidney punch, kidney punch, kidney punch. Um I like this this twenty today. Oh, using my last luck.
plugged in to like spin myself out. Um. Yeah, make a dex dex save to see if you fall. Yeah. Uh, fourteen. Okay, you're you're still standing. You're a little wobbly, but. Okay. Okay. That's kind of warrant whining. It does. Classic D and D. Here we go. Just don't let it. I walk. I walk around him. Here, I'm just gonna move it. You're like, duh, 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 duh. Oh, hi. <laughs> <sighs> um, but it, our our chief, our DM, it, is really amazing. They're they come up with some of the coolest, cutest things like a medieval iteration of McDonald's called Sloppy Trolls <laughs> that you can guess kind of what they, they, they uh, serve but it's run by a couple of couple of orcs and <laughs> and that they have like a little kids play center uh, it's the play castle and it's like different guilds like sponsor the, the kids toys in the tiny troll meals and this month's sponsor was the Assassin's Guild so all these little kids are running around with you know little hooks and little tiny wooden daggers <laughs> and little tiny kid sized lock picks and it was the best thing ever and, and and being you know a giant kid basically turned themselves into a, a very very large kitty and went and played with the kids and it was fun it was great. <laughs> and it now has a, 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 a toy wooden dagger. <laughs> because this is a thing we do. Um, <laughs> I really enjoy and I, I, I enjoy them so much. That, and they're going such interesting places. And one of my favorite cantrips uh, for, for Ent at the beginning had been Magic Stone. Which basically you cast... A thing on three pebbles and it you fling them and it's more damage but in because of between that and the sentient kettle construct that they had made friends with and again and is the public universal friend they are friends with two abolis uh, excuse me are canaloths right now too um they, they they took a level of artificer and so they have a pocket boom because our DM is fantastic and said I didn't have to have it be a rifle thing, it could be a pepper pot. Still the same thing, it's just an aesthetic overlay. Um, so yeah, it, and basically has a giant pop gun. <laughs> because it's like magic bullet, but better and faster. And, 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 and likes the idea of fast. I, I'm not sure why Ent likes the idea of fast. I have my suspicions, though. So, yes, I, I, I enjoy playing Ent a lot, a lot. Every time I, I spend a day in, in their head, I come out feeling like a, a better, truer version of who I could be as a kind person and just wanting to eat tea with fig jam and... or just drink tea and eat toast with fig jam. Because Ent eats a lot of toast and... Toast and jam, except the jam is it is like jellied slime because it's from the Underdark and it is peculiar and a mushroom. And we're in a city that is very, very Jorhasian in its demographics. Meaning there there are orcs and there are goblins. It's like the 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 you know, inn that we stay in is run by a goblin, and there are tieflings everywhere, and um, ogres, and uh, tabloxi, and it's a, a very alternate race city that they're in, and it's really exciting. I really like it. Okay, so I have babbled about D&D too long. I am really sorry about that.
TNT. Arg. I don't know what else I've been doing. I've, I've been arguing. I've been doing a lot of, um, I've, not a lot, I've been trying to, like, go back to doing digital stuff a lot more lately. Though I'm still doing, like, nothings and the paintings and stuff. I, I'm, I'm taking a minor break from the paintings at the moment just because I, I have space issues going on at the moment. Um, that'll be, you know, fixed once uh, Numb comes up because it, it has to do with, you know, making my life easier. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know. It's like, Good Omens is fantastic. Watch it. I'm in the middle of reading the book. I reread the entire Raven Cycle series again, so, you know, we're doing real good. And, um, the July Camp Nano just ended, and I put in 42, 43 hours of editing and writing into it, so we're doing good, and I have a very, very, very basic idea of what my NaNoWriMo is going to look like in November, so yay. Eep. It's going to be a thing. Alright. So, I am going to go, it's like all the other video, all the, all the B-roll in this is going to be, you know, cats and watching Callisto 6 and watching other things and who knows? Who knows what it's going to be? I haven't decided when I'm going to actually, like, edit this yet, so hopefully it'll be this week, or next week, and not, like, you know, millennia from now, like the last one was. Alright. I keep getting distracted out the window. Apologize for that. Like, maybe a, a passenger control for, like, an airliner? He's got his foot jammed up against it and pushed all the way forward, so it's doing this dive. And as he's doing this, he's buckled in. Are the mega skyscrapers of downtown La town, downtown Los Angeles, and then just behind them, the towering spires of corporate LA. All right. Good boy. Mr. Bug, you're not gonna say hi to me. Look at that man, he's so beautiful. Surprise, surprise, I don't know what to say. It's been a while since I um, vlogged the other parts of my vlog. So I feel like I should do more like 
more additions of the thing. Um, and part of it is just catching up and yes, I am in a different place. My desk actually looks kind of cool from here. I never think of it that way. Um, Bart will be there. Hasn't been used in a really long time. He probably needs to go someplace not here. This is probably better because, you know, I'm not holding it with my hands. So it won't shake as much and stuff. I know more if I'm just talking at things. Um, so, stuff, things. I don't even remember what I talked about in the last thing. Um, that I need to edit and add this too. So, you know, we're doing real good. I don't know. The, the, the world is making me very, very, very sad. Um, today is the is August 22nd, I'm going to say. It's Thursday. Um, I'm not good at remembering the days. And since I'm using my phone, I can't just like flip the thing up and find out. Um... But yeah, it's like the, the, the world is ridiculous and horrible and governmental things are making me want to find a nice dark room and not come out. And the world is literally on fire. And yeah. And I'm being side-eyed by a cat. Hello. Hello, babe. And I, 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 I'm having one of those times as an artist where I feel very not disconnected from my art, but disconnected from the art world at large, be it conceptual or fine or illustrative or graphic or any of those things. Um, it's one of those things, I've lived in the Midwest my entire life. Not that I haven't wanted to live elsewhere, but I've always lived here for various and sundry reasons. And it's never mattered if I'm doing conceptual art, fine art, illustration, performancey things, sculpture, yada, 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 you name it. It has not mattered. It's never felt like my art and me fit here in any way, shape, or form. And it's, it's distressing and frustrating and disheartening and it makes it hard to, hard to want to make things. And then let's throw in all of the having been sick and my, my hand doesn't work the way it used to because of the surgery I had on it, that even doing normal things like drawing for more than like five, ten minutes makes my hand hurt. I folded t-shirts yesterday, I mean mind you it was a bunch of t-shirts and it was like an hour's worth of folding but it made my hand really hurt and it wasn't even like intricate folding or weird things like you know balling up your socks it was t-shirts where you hold it up you fold in half you fold in a half and you're done so frustrations are me and many and mighty and it's like i i want to do things like stream more often i went to stream more often. Stream at all. It's weird. I, I have like weird things with streaming because I I never think because of how I work on my art, I never think to like sit down and stream the thing to people. Um, writing is a little bit easier for me to remember and I'm so bad at video games. I'm not bad at video games. Um, super bad. Nobody wants to watch that. I mean like Brian and Travis Willing and on Travis Willingham's Yeehaw Game Ranch are way better than I am. 
I don't know. I, I like the idea of streaming. I like the idea of vlogging and making YouTube videos and all of these new media, transmedia, multimedia things that we have options to do now as artists. And they're just things that are hard for me. And some of it's because I, I'm older. I mean, even when I went to art school, this stuff was wasn't ubiquitous yet. I mean, when I went to art school, YouTube was just starting because, wow, am I old. Um, and it's like, you know, I mean, cameras are still expensive, but like, you can get, we have cameras and digital cam cameras and video recorders on our phones now. We didn't even have that yet. Or it was the very, 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 very beginning. I mean, okay, yes, my phone had a camera on it, but boy, was it not good. So, it, 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 it's, I, I am often not a digital native. I'm a digital immigrant for many things. So, that's part of the reason why I have trouble with it. But it's also one of those things that because these these things came about so late in my art practice that that, that there are things I don't have built into my art practice, if that makes sense. This is a whole lot of me just rambling. I don't know. It, it seems like things to talk about, things that I should talk about, things that I've been talking about out loud in other places. So, should do it here too. Okay. So, in case I didn't do it in the other one, because who knows what I did. I, I don't even remember if the card is still in my camera or... If, I took it out and put it in the other card holder. I have to go figure that out. So, in case I forgot to do it, do good, be kind, be brave. For the love of the thing, high atop the thing, be the person Uncle Iroh knows you can be. And courage. Yes, I should say I took that job, but no one's ever had to do it. No more. Done. Hi, I'm working.